hey what's going on guys of course you know this is dr sexy Anne, and this is the ask dr sexy feature now our question tonight comes from paul now paul says dear dr sexy i came home from work last friday to find my girlfriend on the bed grinding on some sex toy i was so annoyed i grabbed it from her and i threw it out and i'm still not talking to her how dare her use something like that am i not man enough what is she trying to tell me very upset Woo, paul first of all calm down second of all you need to buy back the woman toy now the fact that she masturbates does not mean that she doesn't find you attractive anymore what it means is that she was aroused and she felt a little frisky and you were not there so she helped herself that's fine paul it's just a matter of observing coming in and catching her masturbating is an opportunity for you to learn more about her watch the way she touched the areas watch the way she responds to the toys see how hard how soft see the way she touches herself see how she grinds just watch the way she moves forward this is a free ticket monkey see monkey do all you need to do is to just mimic those movements and you'll be golden now as far as the toys goes first of all let me just be clear about this the toy, the little piece of rubber, plastic, I don't know what kind of toy she had, cannot replace a person. And let me just say something to you, Paul. If in your relationship, all it takes to replace you is a battery-operated rubber, silicone, whatever it's made from, then your problem is bigger than sex. That's all I'm going to say about that. But if it's just a toy and it's to so you're masturbating, it's a good thing. It means she has a high libido and she's exercising it, which means she's going to feel like having sex again. And you can be there to help her next time. Toys are great because toys are a great way to help her get aroused. They can help you out. Make friends with the toys, Paul. Get comfortable with the toys. Buy her back a toy. As a matter of fact, take her to buy a toy. And FYI, if you need toys, I got them for you. That's a sexy life at gmail.com. Come and let me know the toys you need. The Facebook page, the, the 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 website, all of that is coming up. But as as it relates to you coming in and catching your masturbating, it's nothing to be threatened about. This is something that you can actually use to grow in your intimacy. Because a lot of people are not very vocal about what they like and what they don't like. So being able to share this with her where you get to see her do it live, it's something that you cannot replace with anything else. So enjoy it. So what you need to do, Paul, is go apologize to her right away and buy her another toy. As a matter of fact, both of you go get it together. Okay, honey, it's not that serious. It's just a little bit of battery. As a matter of fact, it can do the heavy lifting for you. Okay, Paul? So get used to toys. Get friendly with toys. Be more comfortable with toys. And of course, if you have any questions for me about toys, I'll be definitely happy to help you out with that. Okay, honey? So it's not that serious. You don't have to vex with our man. Call her and you know, mashed up and hey, make the makeup sex count, right? <laughs> All right, Paul, I hope I helped you out. I hope you guys can make it up because this is not a very big deal. In the meantime, guys, send me your questions, drsexylive at gmail.com. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Dr. Sexy Anne, and I will definitely answer all the questions that you send to drsexylive at gmail.com. In the meantime, Paul, get your vibe on. <laughs> Later, guys.